Good evening Philippines, this is Mike Padua once again and we are back to give you the uh, latest update on the newly formed tropical depression and this is for today Tuesday evening April 13, 2021. So let's uh, begin with our update and uh, here's the latest fast animation. You can clearly see here the uh, rapid intensification of this uh, tropical depression and it's likely by tomorrow morning, uh, maybe it could become a, a tropical storm based on what we see on the latest three hour satellite animation. However, while we are making the uh, latest storm track for uh, Typhoon 2000, uh, the uh, forecast is still somewhat uh, conservative, especially the, uh, uh, the wind speed. The forecast wind speed so it's unlikely to uh, rapidly intensify and there is a possibility that the system will also become or could become a super typhoon based on past uh, April uh, storms and the mo computer models continues to show a very strong tropical cyclone moving across the Philippine Sea and we're gonna going to show you uh, what will be the effects towards the Philippine Islands for the next uh, few days particularly this coming weekend so uh, as we focus now on our zoom in satellite animation from window.com this dark gray is the uh, outer rain bands and the inner rain bands of the system as it continues to rapidly intensify if we look at the infrared those are very strong severe thunderstorms around the circulation of uh, uh, tropical depression it's now uh, given a tag ID by Joint Typhoon Warning Center of the United States as uh, 02W, the second uh, tropical cyclone for the Western Pacific. So W stands for Western Pacific. And if it thus enters the uh, Philippine area responsibility, it will be known locally or domestically by Pagasa as Bising. Okay. And uh, if we uh, uh, notice it, there are some trough already. Let's change it to blue. The trough is already affecting the northeastern and eastern sections of Mindanao, bringing some showers or thunderstorms over those areas. And if we check out what will be the next uh, international name based from the SCAP WMO Typhoon Committee, the next in line will be uh, Sergei. And Sergei is taken from North Korea. Uh, so North Korea is also a member of the uh, SCAP WMO Typhoon Committee and if we look at what Sergei means it's a kind of eagles okay so uh, here's the latest uh, initial uh, storm watch track number one from Typhoon 2000 which we issued at 5 p.m. so based on our uh, position as of 5 p.m. it's here and for the next 24 hours it will move very slowly either to the northwest or north just here very close to Yap, and it will bring stormy weather over Ulithi, Yap, and portions of Palau here in the western Micronesian Islands. And uh, it's likely to become a tropical storm either tomorrow or on Thursday afternoon, and it could enter the Philippine Air Responsibility on Friday afternoon. If it uh, accelerates, it will be much er earlier, and it will track across the... Uh, uh, southern part of the central Philippine Sea becoming a typhoon on Saturday and a strong typhoon on Sunday and it will pass uh, more or less uh, 200 or 300 kilometers to the east of northern Samar or and also to the east of Bicol region but take note the uh, probability okay of the forecast remains low okay so no need to be alarmed yet okay and uh, the probability is around uh, 30 to 40 percent that it will uh, push through with this kind of track so uh, we are going to uh, monitor the system the coming days once it enters power we will have a clearer clearer picture on where the system will really go since the computer model will start to blend now uh, use the zoom in and uh, if we look at our Typhoon global models, so mm, we are basing it on the uh, close to the uh, European model in between the uh, American model. So 
Our clock is somewhere. Uh, sorry. Our clock is somewhere here. Okay. And then it will recurve. So there will be some changes in the forecast model, especially on Friday and Saturday. So that five to six day forecast is not yet sure. Okay. Let's hope and pray that the forecast uh, track of the European model as well as the other models will not uh, uh, move closer to the Philippines but away from the Philippines. So let's pray hard and uh, hope that the system will not make landfall or come closer uh, towards the Philippine Islands. Even though the system will pass here, there could be some damaging winds across the eastern sections of the Beagle region and summer provinces. So watch out for uh, our update in the coming days. We will keep you updated. And uh, as we look at uh, our uh, Pagasa Tropical Cyclone Climatology tracks from 1948 to 2016, this is the monthly climatological uh, tracks and uh, as, uh, as they said uh, the uh, month of April we will have, be having zero or one tropical cyclone so we have one now and based on the track if we zoom in this tracking of the climatology of Pagasa based for the month of April uh, it shows that it's 50-50 chance okay that it could either recurve or make landfall over the Philippine Islands so the track of uh, soon to be missing is somewhere here. Okay, so uh, we are still not yet out of the woods, but we are going to uh, observe this system. So tomorrow evening, we will g be giving you again the latest update on this uh, tropical cyclone. Sergey, soon to be Sergey and uh, soon to be Bising if it enters the Philippine Air Responsibility again. To wrap up our uh, update, here's the GovSat. We just have a uh, northeasterly surface wind flow affecting Bicol, some of provinces, and that's it. The rest of the country will remain fair to cloudy skies with isolated rain showers and thunderstorms, particularly over areas of uh, of uh, Visayas and uh, Mindanao. Oh, by the way, uh, I forgot to mention the uh, trough of tropical depression. And uh, it's affecting northeastern Mindanao and eastern Mindanao. So that will be for the next uh, five days until the system moves closer. So let's hope and pray that it will recurve and uh, make uh, and let's uh, pray that it won't make any landfall or damage uh, towards our country. Okay, so that's it. That's the latest for this uh, Tuesday evening and we will be returning again tomorrow evening to give you more update on the impending tropical cyclone. From Typhoon 2000, this is Mike Paddy reporting. Stay safe always. Be hashtag with a wiser, hashtag uh, Typhoon wiser. And thank you so much for watching our channel and don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Mr. Typhoon, the TV, for the latest update on the upcoming tropical cyclone. Good evening and God bless to all.